everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Sue and I'm about to do the number 17 Marguerite collage prompts now uh, the prompts today we have something red so I've got uh, some red tissue paper oh, and a little bit of white so I'll be using the red I have a red uh, protea I think it is and a bottle brush flower uh, I think, oh, and I also have some stamps that I can possibly use in red to fill up some spaces. I also have some ready-toned washi tape. Now, uh, two of something, I was thinking the two butterflies over here, which also uh, could be the bonus stickers as well, although I might use these other ones as well. Uh, something that points or is pointing, um, the only thing I could find was an arrow. So that's a pointy thing or points. A uh, piece of an envelope. I've grabbed this, um, I think it's coffee dyed envelope. Uh, so I'm going to use some of that. Uh, craft colour paper or brown paper. I've just got a brown paper bag. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, I also of course have my usual uh, pocket of background papers. So I will probably speed most of this video up. So it's not too long. Um, let's start with the background. Okay, I'm going to stick this lot down and then any spaces I've got, I'll add some more little bits. I'm relatively happy with that so I'm just going to trim the edges and then we'll have a look at putting the collage together all right now um, to do the actual collaging um, I was thinking uh, to it says a piece of the envelope either side so I, it, it's too big and I'm not going to use the whole envelope although if I fold it no I think I will trim it uh, yeah I think I'll trim it Okay, I'm not too fussed about the little bits of red because that tones in with the rest of the page. But I'm just wondering if that's too big there. What I was thinking is putting in one of these flowers inside or behind the window. 
It's a little difficult to see though. The coffee dyeing seems to have um, dyed the window as well. So I'm not 100% sure. I think I will. Um, and I'm going to also trim so there's only one window. Although, I did originally think... If I pop that in there, I could have the arrow in this window here. But it is a little difficult to see. So I'm not really sure. The other thing I could do is to take... I think I might take the envelope apart. I wanted to do something different, basically. Um, so I thought, yeah, why don't I use the envelope and in a different way? That's, let me see. That's not too bad on the lighter background, actually. So maybe... I could replace the... Um, this, this paper stuff with some acetate or something but um, actually I think don't think that's too bad now I might leave it like that yep I'm gonna leave it like that now the other side I think just a little bit of the red tissue paper a little long but never mind um, something like that I have the butterfly stickers and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim around the actual sticker and these stickers they're old creative memories ones I've had them oh gee more than 10 years has to be now I have to have the two of them Something like that, I'm thinking. Uh, what else? Oh, I need to use the brown paper. So, might just use a small piece. Like that. Might pop another piece on the other side actually. Tie the two sides together. Something like that. Maybe like that. Um, need something here. So I'm thinking one of the stamps. These are just a variety of different stamps that I found with red. Oh, that one's a double, so that could also be two of something. I'll pop that up there. And maybe spread some washi around a little bit, I think. There may be a little bit of stamping. And I think that would be it. I'm just thinking this is maybe a little bit too big. So I might chop that down a little bit. If you're new to my channel um, and haven't seen me, seen the blade, this is just a hacksaw blade. Absolutely brilliant for um, tearing paper. So if you could get your hands on one, and it doesn't have to be a brand new one obviously, this one's a second hand one, but it works perfectly fine for paper. I'll just chop this down a little bit. I hope everybody's well at the moment, keeping, keeping safe, keeping sane, <laughs> looking after each other. Um, we can ride this out. You know, everything will get back to normal soon, hopefully. And hopefully we'll all have learned something. Uh, maybe that's... 
Maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah, I think that's a bit different. And this one, maybe like so. Yep, I quite like that. Now the only thing I've just noticed, I was going to chop this, which now makes it fit in there better. And I do have this little one, so I'm thinking I might just pop that like that. Okay, quite happy with that. Different to my usual style, I think. I hope. I'm trying to do things a little differently, just to add a little bit more interest. Okay, I will speed the next bit up. I'm going to distress them all and glue them all down. the bulk of it done um, and I do have just a couple of little things to do um, I've got to add these butterflies so I'll just pop those on these are laser cut they're um, probably possibly a bit hard to see but they're they're really delicate so just trying really hard not to rip them. <laughs> okay, now one thing I did think when I was actually gluing is that I have to put down the prompts. Um, I did write them out somewhere. There we go. I wrote them out here. So I'm just wondering where I'm going to put those. I always leave these to the last minute and forget. So I think I'm just going to have to again pop it there as a bit of a flip out. So I might just trim it and make it smaller. I'm going to use the washi tape, which is not going to match the other side, but anyway. And I'll pop something on the front, I think. That there, and I will put something over that side just to hide that, I think. Maybe a little bit of this. Yep, need a bigger piece. I will do that. Okay. Now on this side, just so there's something there, I might pop a little bit of this red tissue. And trying to ink it was almost impossible, so I won't try and do that again. Just basically a little bit of a collage, just so it tones in with the page. Now, um, I usually do stamping, so I will grab a, a text stamp if I can find one. Uh, let me see, what have I got? Yep, there's one. So I just a small, small text stamp, just put a little bit on there. 
Oh, I do have that floating around too. Beginning to um, think I need to get a darker um, stamp that I use for uh, the edges and things. This is Vintage Photo and I've, I really have um, just just before the video I've re-inked it but it just doesn't seem very dark anymore. I'm not sure what's going on. So I'm thinking I may actually end up using Walnut Stain or something like that instead just to give it a little bit more darkness and I think I'll pop that arrow there and these stamps aren't sticking very well either okay well, I've got so much glue on my fingers um, okay now I need something on there now I do have these left so I'm thinking I'm just going to put these on as well and one of them is going to go here so that gives that something and let me see whoops I'm thinking here would be nice or here maybe here I really do like these actually <laughs> and we'll pop one finally with these two yeah, I really like that. A Dif little bit different to my usual, I think. I guess it is and it's not. It isn't in that I usually have the two focal sides. Um, but different in that I don't normally do this sort of a thing. And even this to me is a little bit different to what I usually do. Uh, okay, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just wondering whether I can maybe merge these two together somehow washi tape where's the washi tape let me have a look then I'll do a final check that I've got everything stick that down with that maybe a little bit here a little bit here just sort of brings the two um, elements more together and maybe a little bit up here And maybe a little bit on there too. And we have a tiny bit left. So where is there none here? Maybe here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That is what I consider finished, I think. Now, just... Oh, this little thing keeps popping out. Uh, the prompt list. Let me just check the prompts. So, I have something red, plenty of red, two of something. Well, there's two of a lot of things. Something that points. So, I've got the arrows, a uh, piece of an envelope. Yep. Craft or brown paper. Yes. And bonus sticker. Plenty. Okay. So, that's completed and I really actually like this one. Um... Not my favourite, because that's the purple one that I did a few weeks ago, or when I did it, uh, which is back here somewhere. That one, that's probably my favourite. And I've just noticed that stamp there is actually metallic. I didn't notice that before. Um, but yeah, this one's quite, uh, I do like this one. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're getting some inspiration from the pages. Um... Thank you if you are a new subscriber. Please stick around. Check out some of the other things I do. Um, you know, even if it's um, an art journaling page, there might be something that gives you inspiration from it. You know, we get inspiration from all sorts of uh, different places and things we do. So, um, you know, sometimes, and it's also nice sometimes to go out of your comfort zone as well. Do something a little different. My art journaling pages tend not to be too complicated uh, because um, I prefer to keep things simple I guess and that's about as far as my brain will go um, but yeah just check out some of my other videos as well I am hoping to do a slow stitch one soon but um, I seem to get bogged down with it and not get very far but I'll get there all right I think I'm almost up to date now with the collages I think which is good. I'd like to get it down to one a week.
but we'll see how things go all right so thank you once again um, for watching if you're not a subscriber I would appreciate um, you subscribing I'm working my way towards the thousand <laughs> slowly um, but yeah getting there all right thank you once again and I'll catch you next time bye for now